News is coming in. The Union Human Resources and Development Minister Smriti Irani has reacted to a headlines today report. The HRD Ministry has asked Vrinda Swaru, Secretary of School Education, to submit a detailed report as early as possible. And sources in the ministry are telling headlines today that the Union Minister Smriti Irani will speak to the parents of this child in Kolkata. Let me bring headlines today's Indrajit Kundu for more on this. Uh, Indrajit, you broke uh, you broke the story. Get us the details. Well, Gaurav, uh, you, you know, we have been speaking to the family and the family is pretty distraught at this point in time. It's been over 12 days and no action has been initiated uh, against the school. Their complaint is primarily against the principal and some of the, the school teachers and it, as it has been mentioned in the FIR. And that's the reason why uh, the parents uh, wrote to Smriti Irani, the Union HRE Ministry, seeking her intervention in their quest for justice for Kamalika Das. And what we are learning at this point is that uh, the HRE Ministry has taken serious note of this incident the, and the Ministry has also instructed that Brinda Saroop, who is the Secretary of School Education, to submit a detailed report after probing the entire matter. We are also learning that Smriti Rani may personally speak to the parents uh, and give, a, give them some sort of assurance. So this does come in as an impact at this point in time. Uh, the hapless parents were waiting for some sort of assistance from the government. Uh, remember, there's a, a central government school, Kendriya Vidyalaya, yes. and their allegation is directly against the principal, as it is uh, being alleged in the FIR that they have filed, uh, saying that it's a clear case of abetment of suicide. Stay with me for a moment. This incident took place on the 20th of January. Despite repeated complaints, the police failed to act against the principal of the Kendriya Vidyalaya and two teachers who were named by the girl in her suicide note. The police, they did not even question the school authorities. Let's listen in to the young girl's father before I get you more on that story. She was a very jolly fellow. She was an extra man also. I mean, uh, she used to take part in all uh, extracurricular activities from school also. She got so many prizes. Sister tells me that she once wanted to be a journalist. Journalist, journalist. And sometimes she, she, she used to tell that I shall become a social worker also. Mm. Like that. I think before her death, uh, I left Kolkata on 12. One or two days before also she told her, hey, Papa, I shall become a journalist and a social worker. A young life snuffed out. On the 19th of January, this young girl was pulled up in class for failing to submit her Hindi assignment. The next day, her mother was called to school. Her mother was insulted. The child was threatened with the expulsion. On the same day, she went home, made a final entry in her diary and jumped to her death. In this diary, she blamed the school principal for raking up a molestation complaint she had filed four years ago against a classmate. The family says back then the school teachers had branded her as characterless and desperate and they tried brushing this matter under the carpet saying this was a petty issue that she had raked up. So, I don't know how many people in the assignment are doing this. I don't know how many people are doing this. I don't know how many people are doing this. I don't know how many people are doing this. I don't know how many people are doing this. Okay. I don't know how many people are doing this. I don't know how many people are doing this. She was uh, victimized for years. The victim blaming was so much that she couldn't handle it. And what happened on the 19th and the 20th was a trigger. She was still hopeful in the 19th because she told her mother that I don't want to return the certificates if they don't ask. So that means what she still wanted to live at that point of time. But on the 20th when it happened, I think she lost all hope. And uh, it is a clear case of victimization, victim blaming and abetment to suicide because she was dragged to, you know, she was depressed. But you, if the school was a little supportive, if they had a little bit of humility and humbleness and modesty and a little bit of human touch, this wouldn't have compassion. It wouldn't have happened. This young girl's family believes that their daughter was singled out, subjected to humiliation because she filed a molestation complaint. She was depressed. She was driven to suicide to commit suicide by her teachers and the school principal. But uh, they should not have brought this, this incident, no? Because, if they have something, I mean, she didn't complete her assignment for that, they, they, are, they can school her. Yes. That, that is within their power. But why they drag this four years back, this thing, and when she's traumatized already for this thing, no?
this young girl was traumatized anyways that's the question that a father is asking when she was anyway traumatized she had made a complaint and four years ago that she was molested why was she being victimized by the principal and the teachers indrajit you've been trying to speak to the teachers and the principal of this kendriya vidyalaya any reaction from them well gorov the school authorities have refused to break their silence on this entire fiasco in fact when uh, just when the incident uh, took place on january 28 uh, 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 and was very weak there were a lot of protests that were taking place by uh, kamalika's classmates and her family members and during that time the principal did not even come out and speak uh, to the protesters uh, even once uh, and there was an altercation between the principal and the students but the principal refused to apologize what is uh, all the more humiliating and baffling is the fact that none from the school authorities went to provide right a condolence to the family to the grieving family no message was sent to the grieving family and that has only added uh, insult to the already grieving uh, members of kamalika das's family